My name is uh, Luis Camino from Transportation. I'm uh, from Spain. And I'm going to show you my degree project on, on Volvo. Uh, kind of cliche doing a Volvo in, in Sweden, but since I'm Spanish, I thought it would make for a uh, little interesting take. Basically, what I want to make is an ultimate vision for a, for a Volvo estate, which is a family wagon car. Um, the approach <coughs> for this uh, project from the beginning was to think about this as a possibility, hypoth hypothetically, my last project as a car designer. In the case that, given the current situation, I wouldn't get a job, what would I want to remember <laughs> in a few years that I did as a car, uh, as a car design? So basically, the, the approach that I wanted to have some, it was something very pragmatic. Instead of just trying to come up with some idea for the future in 2050 with some speculation, I wanted to start from today and go step by step, learning from the past and the current technology and things that are happening, and, and you know, create this history of the future that will kind of create uh, my, my car uh, auto automatically. Um, some of the things, the goals for the project and for the Volvo brand uh, are, uh, are this, and uh, the first one being confidence boost. Uh, Volvo is a very global one, it's like uh, his mar its market is divided almost in thirds between this, and, but they are really different markets, and for the values, the kind of values that uh, Volvo has, they are, they are kind of um, contradictory in some points. For example, uh, in Europe, we don't really, especially Volvo, really is the most understated brand, not really showing off, very relaxed. While in China, for example, they really want to show off their car and they don't care anything about safety. So those things have to be addressed uh, at some point. And this is, this is one way that you know, it hasn't really worked in the past, in my opinion. And you can see something wrong with this car. Uh, the, the, the person driving it looks very confident and very cool, but the car, for me, is kind of apologizing for being a car. And, and this is the kind of Swedish feel that Volvo, uh, or, or all Sweden has of uh, not being able to brag about uh, their own qualities or their own uh, benefits uh, for humanity. It's like, Everything that's not perfect is, you know, nobody's perfect, but it's okay. So that's, that's what I think has to be added to, to, the, to the ball run, and it's beginning to happen already. Um, the scenario, like I said, uh, completely reality. So I did a lot of research in order to find out what things are very probably happening. And this is a very confusing map that I made of uh, future trends, technology, I pinpointed where it was probably going to happening, to be happening, how it influenced the society, or, or vice versa. Uh, the one, the, the graph in the bottom represents actually what Volvo said officially want, they want to do with regarding powertrains, saying that you know first they're gonna have a little bit of hybrids in some sort of cars, then full electric cars in the smaller range, and then you know this creates a trend that because I wanted this to do this car in uh, steps. I have these three dots that you can see there as my three next generations. So my final being for 2028, but study the, the middle points for 2014 and, and 21. It, it's, like I said, a little bit of an automatic design, even though you know, it's all a strategy for me to, to come up with something realistic. One little example of the whole uh, research was about lighting. I think that uh, in many, including automotive industry, the lighting is going towards uh, something very expressive and, and attractive, rather than the bulbs that we have gone, we have uh, had all all the time. And it also, uh, bioluminescence shows a lot of uh, um, uh, communication and uh, attraction uh, that could be used in cars. The strategy, like I said, uh, could be that the way the XC70 has been dragging the F, uh, V70 uh, can lead to a trend where they separate ways and the two last generations become more like a road going car. And the personality of each generation represents the kind of Volvo philosophy in steps that they want to do. Cars that are greener, are more safe and, and, and more fun. And I think smart and intelligence is the new safety. Um, what all this safety and this intelligence in cars are gonna 
uh, create this a new category of cars that are intelligent. And with, if I add this to the zero emissions uh, uh, capability of, of full electric cars, I created this brand within Volvo that's called Twin Zero, which means that we have cars that are zero emissions and also generate zero uh, fatalities. Nobody, Volvo said nobody will die in a Volvo in 2020. Um, so what this, all of this mm, can uh, mean for the auto industry is new possibilities, of course. And here you can see a sketch I did. With this is all my father's cars from the beginning to the current one. And uh, if you see, see there, uh, we had uh, two wagons. We still have one. But I have two brothers and a sister, so we are six people. And for, uh, for two or three cars, we were having to fit in, in a car for, with uh, five seats. So my father's solution was this. Not very comfortable. Huh? <laughs> you, can, you can probably sense that these are not actual pictures and that these, go, these boys, as my brothers, were not very happy in this position for <laughs> four hours. So what I did is create a new area in the front to, to have a, a new way of, uh, of filling the, the interior of the car, more conversational. And it's all thanks to the, to the, to the packaging. Uh, the proportions, of course, create something really unusual exterior, but without, with playing with the forms and the A-pillar here and there, I wanted to also have a little bit of classic feel as well as some supercar feeling as well for the fun part of it. Uh, like I said, car to person mm, communication is, is going to become the, the focus once cars already communicate themselves and don't crash. So. For example, pedestrian warning system is something that will be quite useful in Yumeo. When you are driving your bike and you don't really know if you're listening to your music, if there's a car coming behind you. Some of these things, I think, it would be very easy to implement. And now I'm going to show um, a short video that is uh, not really about my car. I made it in collaboration with a, a student, uh, Sharon Williams, from visualization course. And it's a little bit of a um, kind of YouTube kind of video that I, I wanted um, non-car designers to enjoy as well. So we'll see if it works. Yeah, we can make it another one, maybe. Yeah, it, it should be in the PowerPoint, but it's not, so we can make another one. Thank you. 